Hey, what's going on everybody? Happy Thanksgiving. My name is Hydro and today, once again, we're going to be talking about Zample Box. And this is going to be the November Zample Box review. Unfortunately, I get my stuff later in the month every month, so I really wish I could do these at the start of the month so people can see what's actually out. By the time you see this, it might already be the next month and the flavor is going to be totally different, but Overall, this should give you a pretty good idea, and you can kind of check out the companies that come with it. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, once again, we have six flavors, and we'll talk about each one individually. The first one is, uh, it's called uh, Sunshine, and it's by a company called Lick. So, that's what it looks like. I'll try to put it over here, actually, so it's not totally in the light. All right, let's check this out. Fortunately, a lot of these come without droppers or anything like that. So, but I got a couple, couple handy here. All right, so use my dripper, and let's see what this flavor is all about. Definitely tastes like melon. Yeah, it tastes like there's quite a few, there's a couple different melons going on there. Uh, possibly some watermelon, maybe some honeydew. Yeah, I feel like it's more honeydew than cantaloupe. Yeah, definitely not a citrusy, but more of like a melon. So this is a very good, clean flavor. Um, to me, it's very summery. So something that would be great to vape during the summer, especially on a hot day. Vapor production is good. Uh, let's see here. It doesn't say... Yeah, it doesn't say if it's a 50-50 blend or... Yeah, it doesn't say what kind of blend it is, but uh, definitely good vapor production and very good throat hit as well. But yeah, very good flavor, especially if you really like melon. Definitely give that one a try. Um, yeah, and all of these should be about 18 milligram strength. Just FYI. Okay, so uh, the next one we'll try. This one's uh, Big Heart Vapors, which I believe this is the company that made one of the dessert vapes that I liked from one of the previous ones. So this uh, is quickly becoming one of my favorite companies. Um, so yeah, 18 milligrams on this one as well. And it's called a uh, whisk wicker. It is a 50-50 blend, so this is what it looks like. It's got a little picture of like a little bowl with some batter in it. So leads me to believe it's probably going to be a dessert vape, which I have no problem with. Just one of those flavors that I never thought I would really be into, and yet here I am. Totally digging it, so you just never know. It's, it's why I love Zample Box. You can try all kinds of different things and see what you really like that you may have never tried. It's definitely a, um, a desserty vape. It's not like the the custard one or anything like that. Really, it's um, yeah, it definitely tastes like some kind of batter, like maybe like a cake batter or something like that. So more like a cake vape, I guess you could say. It's very good though. Um, yeah, definitely desserty. Definitely like a, uh, like I said, like a batter flavor. So, if you're looking for a good dessert vape, this might be a good one for you. Actually, it's probably a good company for you in general. Good, really good throat hit um, as well on that, and um, you know, good vapor production as well. So, definitely a good one. Um, now the next one's from. Um, from Liquid Nebula, another company that I really like. This one's called uh, Pina Collider. These are the bottles that they come in. So I like the uh, Liquid Nebula design. I mean, it's very 
It's very basic, but very clean as well. Uh, nice glass bottle with the dripper. And their products seem to be very good too. So definitely premium e-liquid there. So let's see. Pina Collider. So I'm guessing it's going to be sort of like a Pina Colada. But let's find out. Really good vapor production. Um, the uh, Liquid Nebula, I, I found to have very good vapor production. Now this one, I don't think, yeah, this one doesn't say either if it's a 50-50 blend or what. The liquid seems to be not overly thick, but pretty thick. Leads me to believe that it's it might be a 50-50 blend. Um, I feel like that's probably pretty close. But definitely like a mixed drink, like a pina colada. A little bit more complex maybe than a pina colada, but definitely on that mixed drink wave. Um, yeah, very, very good. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, it's kind of got that fruity... Um, that fruity vibe to it, but very um, overall very clean, very clean tasting, um, lots of flavor, uh, lots of flavor in all of these really. I've yet to have anything from Sample Box that was really that toned down, except for maybe the vanilla one from uh, one of the previous ones. But overall, I feel like these all have a lot of flavor. So uh, for anybody who's a flavor chaser, that's definitely definitely a plus. Very, very good. Okay, so the next one will be a Smoke and Mist Tobacco Ice. This one right here. Now, this is another one that I've uh, had before as far as the company goes, but not, uh, not this particular flavor. So this should be interesting. Now, one thing I do want to mention, too, and I don't know how much of a deal it's going to be to most people, but uh, this bottle in particular, I believe, and uh, this one, the two with the plastic tops, they were already open. So the seal was broken. And a lot of these actually, with the exception of the uh, lick bottle, are not really sealed. That, this one was actually sealed with plastic, which I opened previous to this just to get everything ready. Um, now, I'm still vaping it, but... I thought I would point that out because, you know, it's one of those things where if you bought anything at the store that was already open, you probably wouldn't chance actually using it. So I don't know if Zample Box has the recipes for all this stuff and they're making it there or if people are sending or if these companies are sending them to them like that. I really don't know. Um, so I really can't pass any judgment on that as far as as far as that goes. I don't have any knowledge of that. But I do want to mention it because some people may not want to use this stuff because you just don't know what's in it. So if uh, you do get something that's open and you don't feel comfortable using it like that, like where the seal is broken, uh, maybe contact Zample Box and see what's going on with that. I, For me, I, I don't feel like it's that big of a problem. Uh, I feel like all their stuff's quality and I trust them to an extent. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'm too trusting. But at the same time, it's, I want to bring that to your attention, though. Other people may have experienced that too. I really only noticed on this batch, so uh, I, I don't know if this is something that's just been ongoing since they've started or what, but uh, I just thought it was worth mentioning to everybody, just so you guys know, because I want to get as much information out there as possible. But uh, So Tobacco Ice, let's try that one. Check out that quality vapor. That is great vapor. Um, is this a... Uh... Yep, once again, it doesn't, doesn't say the blend. Drives me crazy when they don't say the blend. Not that it's that big of a deal, really, but I just I love knowing what, what blend it is, especially when you're getting really good vapor. Because what if it's mostly a PG blend? Then I think that, uh, you know, that's awesome. Because uh, I just automatically assume that it's mostly a VG. But great dense vapor on this one. It tastes like a... Uh, 
like a like a rich tobacco, but with some like cool mint to it, but not like a menthol. Yeah, it's like um yeah, there's mint there, but you know how like like a menthol a lot of times it feels like the the mint is actually kind of masking the tobacco a little bit. With this, it's like you get both, and I feel like you get both pretty equally. You get that kind of uh minty throat hit, you know, where it's nice and cool, and you can really taste it, but you can also really taste the tobacco with it. So it complements each other very, very well without detracting from one another, I feel like. And uh, I feel like the um, the mint part of it is really an accent to the good tobacco flavor. So it's, uh, yeah, I definitely wouldn't describe it as like a menthol. If you're into menthol, you will probably like this, but at the same time, I feel like I'm not really into menthol, but I do really like this because it's two very good flavors just together, and one isn't necessarily masking the other. So probably the best way I can describe it. Yeah, you definitely get that really cool throat hit. Very good one. Very good one. I can totally see this being somebody's all just all day regular vape. Okay, so the next one is going to be by Blueprint. It's called uh, A Train, and uh, you know, nice big glass bottle. I get excited when I open these things up and I see nice big bottles. I feel like uh, I'm really getting a good value for my money. Because um, I do overall think that this is a really good value. Uh, you're obviously going to get some, you know, little small ones. But, you know, for these ones, I feel like for something like this, if I really like this flavor, then I'm, I'm super excited that I have a nice big bottle of it. So, um, you know, that's, that's always a plus. All right, so let's see what this one is all about. And I don't think I've ever gotten anything from this company before. I might have, now that I think about it. But let's see what uh, yeah, what this one is all about. Yeah, just but when they come with the when they don't come with the drip or anything, it's kind of a bummer. I guess I just need to invest in more bottles. You can really good vapor on this one. Uh, let's see. And nothing. Okay. Yeah, I'm not even really sure how, honestly, how to describe this one. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I feel like it's mildly, mildly fruity. Not to the same extent that the sunshine would be, or that even the pina colada. It's um, you know, it's a mix of a few different things. Like there's no vanilla or anything like that happening there. Um, but it's a uh, like a mild fruity flavor, not a berry flavor, but like a fruity flavor. Yeah, not quite like a mixed drink fruity flavor either. Yeah, I don't even know how to describe that one. It's very it's very good. See, and that goes into the problem of doing these kinds of reviews. Um is when you come across one that's that's really good but it's really hard to describe and uh really hard to kind of pinpoint who would really like it. Um, but it is, um, yeah, it's a very good flavor, but it's very unique, I feel like. Um, I really want to try more stuff from this company, because I feel like if their other stuff is like this, 
then they have some very unique flavors, and I'm, uh, I would be way into that. But yeah, yeah, very good kind of fruity blend. So uh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely digging that one. That one will definitely find its way in a bottle of some sort, so that I can put it in everything. Okay, so last but not least, uh, it's going to be from um, Nick's Blissful Brews, and it's a uh, smoked custard right here. So nice dark bottle with the eyedropper. And the title, the name of it's really intriguing, Smoked Custard, so let's try that. Figure since this is the last one, I'll throw a couple drops in. Good vapor production on that one, really good flavor. Yeah, I definitely feel like it's custard flavor. Um, I don't know where the smoked part of it comes in, though. Maybe it's because it's not as sweet as some of the other custard flavors that I've tried. Uh, it's a, I mean, you definitely get that it's, that it's custard, and it's definitely a good desserty vape, but it's not, I feel like maybe it's not as sweet as some of the other ones, so maybe that's where the smoked comes in, but I'm not really, I thought maybe it was going to be, maybe a tobacco flavor with custard. But yeah, I mean, I'm t all I'm tasting is a custard, which is not a bad thing. Uh, throat hit not as strong as some of these other ones, but the vapor production is good. I mean, the vapor production has been good on all of these, and the throat hit's been um, pretty pretty good on all these as well. Uh, this one's a little bit lighter, but I kind of expect that out of a out of a dessert vape um, or dessert e liquid, because I feel like maybe you don't want a really strong throat hit when it's something really desserty. Because for me, it's something that I'm gonna vape when. Maybe I get a new tank or something like that that I really just want to kind of dive right into and really just kind of enjoy. So, but yeah, uh, there you have it. So six flavors from from Zamplebox. Uh, check it out, Zamplebox.com. Uh, I'm paying twenty four ninety nine per month for uh, for the service. So uh, yeah, and I'm still really enjoying it. So I'm gonna do another shorter video in a couple of days here. Uh, this little kind of um, travel my travel vape that uh, I'm really impressed with and, and where you can get it. I also ordered a Inokin AIO or AO uh, e-cig that uh, I'm kind of excited to try. It looks really sleek, so I'm uh, definitely going to try that out. So I'll have like, uh, more news and things like that coming up, so I should be doing the other review uh, next week here, and then I'll throw up a video in between uh, to kind of let you guys know what's going on and, uh, and what's coming up. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving, and... Have a great day.